We have to set guardrails in your relationships. And I'm going to throw a few, a few things. Uh, one is a wisdom thing and the other one is the Bible thing. The first wisdom thing and that is this. If you're not ready for marriage, you're not ready for dating. Now I'm not going to get any amends from high schoolers because I know you have prom and if you don't bring somebody to prom, you're going to lose your salvation or pardon heaven. <laughs> your identity is going to be crushed and somehow because everything depends on bringing the most curious girl to prom. If that is really the competition, wow. But listen to me very carefully. If you're not ready for marriage, then dating is not an option for you. You may say, but I'm lonely. Get a dog. <laughs> you may say that I just, I just need somebody to love me, to just be there for me. Get a cat. Get a, go into a home group. Well, I'm still lonely. Sign up for prayer line. <laughs> if you are a kid, you're 16 years of age, you barely found a ride to go to that little place where you're working in a fast food chain restaurant and you feel like that you, because you got admitted to that job that gives you the right to date because in our world today, dating is a game. Dating is the same thing as actually going rollerblading. It's a fun thing teenagers do. The only difference with rollerblading is when you throw the rollerblades off the rollerblades don't bleed. Rollerblades don't have a heart that beats and hurts and dates do. When you go with somebody on a date, their heart gets attached and guess what happens? Then their heart gets broken and then this goes through the cycle and somehow in your mind you're convinced this prepares you for a better relationship by getting into a relationship, breaking up, getting breaking up. From where I stand, it looks like it prepares you for divorce, not for a relationship. You will say, what will I do in high school? You will do your homework. You will actually graduate your high school not with just with a GED. You will graduate with a 4.0. You will have a good chance to go to a good university. You will have no unwanted pregnancies, no sexually transmitted diseases, no heartbroken. You will be more focused. That doesn't mean that you will be a person who doesn't have, you know, likes or anything. But you will be a person who is focused. And when your time comes, don't worry, you won't be weird. It's the weird you should want to be. Because the normal is not something you want in your life. When you're not ready for marriage, if you may be in college right now, you're saying I'm head over heels with, with my assignments. I just, but I, everybody in college has a girlfriend. You're not everybody. You're unique. You're different. When you're not ready for that, you're not ready for a date. Now, but what Christians do is we sneaky. We do this thing called just talking. When you know you're not ready for a relationship, physically or publicly what you do is you allow yourself to be loose emotionally and you start to and when somebody says just talking I first I thought it actually meant just talking I found out what that actually means that means we already planned how many kids we're gonna have when I say just talking it already means we already know where we're gonna go for our honeymoon that already means people are making out, people are snuggling together and people are living as a married couple all under the banner of this false notion, just talking. You're not just talking. You are letting your heart get ahead of your convictions. And you got to protect your heart. If you said that this is not a good time for you for a relationship, avoid just talking. That means if a brother in Christ wants to fellowship with you, there is a home group. There's a group text message. There is no personal stuff that you get involved opening up your heart and the next thing that happens is you fantasize him during prayer and you begin to go into fourth dimension and all of the other things because you're allowed your heart to go too far. And one of the people becomes attached and something happens and now you're like, oh, I need to put my school aside. Oh, I need to do all of these things aside. Why? Because we're just emotionally attached and I know I wasn't ready to get married yesterday, but I'm ready today. Because you're attached. And why are you attached? Because you didn't guard your hands. Hands means your text messages. You got to guard your text messages. For most people get emotionally attached through communication. And it's not, guys a lot of times are awkward. They love to fall in love over text message. Guys f love to fall in love over, as long as you are far from them, they love you. The moment you get close, lose it. They right away, just cold feet, all other diseases they get. And they quickly just lose it. And the best thing to do is if you're a young guy or a young, young girl and you're not ready for a relationship is this, is that you limit 
your connection with another person to just a basic business how you doing what's up what's up but the moment you start going into deep sharing your feelings one of the people will be attached and then the other person is going to have the burden of trying to explain i didn't mean this that's not what i was trying to lead you on